everyone at some point in their life has traveled somewhere, and whether that travel, if they enjoyed it or not, impacted their life in some way. And that trip was probably unforgettable for them. But that person, whether that person enjoyed themselves or not, was entirely up to them. Um, in 2013, I took multiple trips to Florida for a band trip in March, and I went to San Antonio in July for a youth group trip. And um, they both are unforgettable, and I still think about them every day. And most recently, I went to Chicago with my family right before school started. And right away, like, I knew that Chicago wasn't going to be as fun as Orlando or San Antonio because it's Chicago and it's really close to Iowa. So right away, I went into the trip knowing that it wasn't going to be as good. And the car ride was extremely annoying because my sisters were talking the whole time and the one hotel room wasn't going to be enough space to keep us apart. So the first day we went to Navy Pier, which is basically just this pier and you can do basically anything on it. You can eat at any kind of restaurant and there's an amusement park there and it's fun. And that day was really fun until I got home, or not home, but I got to the hotel room and I realized I had a really bad sunburn. And so I was really mad for the rest of the trip. And then the next day we went to an aquarium and then we went to the Willis Tower, which is the tallest tower in America. And like if you go up an elevator, there's an observation deck and it's like clear all the way around it. And you can stand literally 1,350 feet over Chicago. So I did that and that was pretty cool. But my family was too scared to go up there and one of my sisters made a big show about it. So I was embarrassed and that made me even more mad. Then the third day we went to a museum and I really like museums because that's just me. And I thought that the trip was going to get better but it really ended up just getting worse because it was an animal science museum. So there were dead animals everywhere and this is really childish and stupid, but I hate dead animals, and if they're around me, I freak out and get chills, and that's exactly what happened to me. And the whole 45 minutes we were in that exhibit, I was freaking out, and my family didn't even care that I was annoyed. So when we got home, I was trying to remember what had happened in Chicago, but I couldn't really remember anything, because the whole time I was so focused on negative thoughts instead of being happy. And so that's kind of what I learned, that if you're at having a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, you need to be happy and embrace it and not have a negative mindset in it. And like when I went to Orlando and San Antonio, I was with my friends, and I was doing stuff that was exciting for me, and I had actually wanted to do it, and I was having a positive attitude the whole time. So that's why I remember that versus Chicago. And Everyone can learn from that, that if you're having a trip or doing something that you'll probably never get to do again, you need to like enjoy yourself because you might not get the chance to do that again. And um, everyone will get a chance to have a trip like that or do something that they will never forget. And life is short, so they need to embrace that. All right.